Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from DevDactic. Today I will show you how to use the Ionic push service for Android push notifications. So many of you requested this tutorial. So let's start a new blank app. I will just use the standard one, which is the tab template. But anyway, you could also use your existing app or whatever. Just follow these steps and you will get Android push notifications in really no time. So first of all, we need to connect our app. All right. Uh, or before we can connect it, we actually want to add a very cool ion, which is Ionic Platform Web Client. So this will help us to connect to the Ionic I.O. service. You should have an account already or you could create one for free. And we will connect our app to this service in a second. So additionally, we also want to add a Cordova plugin, which is the PhoneGap plugin for push notifications. So with this plugin, we can customize our push notifications later on. But first of all, let's call Ionic IO init. And this will connect our app to the Ionic IO service. So go to your dashboard again at apps.ionic.io and you should see your app right here. All right, so we have not set up any push right now. And we also need to write a little bit of code. So let's open our JS app.js and let's go to the Ionic platform ready function. And below this code, we create a new Ionic push. So this is the object we create, which we have from the Ionic platform web client. This was a bit more tricky before, but now it's really that easy. And for now, just to give our push notifications a try, we call debug true on this object. And there's not much we have to do. We just have to register ourselves. And once we are registered on the Ionic IO service, we will get this callback and inside we got our token and we want to lock our device token and this should be token dot token so you will see why we need this in a second all right so that's everything we need for testing out our demo push so this is not a real push this is just a debug push and Let's call Ionic Surf and I want to serve it in Safari. So here's our app. Nothing special right here, but we see our device token, dev, whatever it is. And let's copy that token, go to your apps platform, and still this should be the same because we haven't added the real keys for the Android app and we even haven't created one, but we can send a one-time notification. So, hello push and paste your device token. This is my awesome message. And you can leave all those things on default and let's send it out. It's sending and you see, this is my awesome message. So our connection to the Ionic IO service is working and our app can receive demo push notifications. So this is the first step in setting up push notifications. Let's see how we can use this service for real push notifications in the next step. To set up real Android notifications, you will need an Android developer account, which is about $25 or euros, whatever your currency is. And yes, you need this account to send out real push notifications. 
and Ionic has a little tutorial what you need to do to get those notifications working. So let's just follow those steps because they're really easy. So first of all, go to your Google Developer Console and let's create a new project if you haven't already. And this is my project. I will call it Devdectic Push. All right, so we created this project. Let's refresh it. Where is it? Yes, there it is. And from this project, you need to copy your project number, which is also called the GCM project number in the documentation. So this is exactly what the first step is. So now we need to enable the GCM service. So as you can see, go to in the sidebar, select APIs and APIs and auth. So go to APIs and search for cloud messaging for Android and enable this API. All right, so this should be enabled. Click enable, we've done. Now we need to obtain an API key. So select add credentials in the credentials section and we need to add an API key. We select server key and we just leave all the settings to default. And here's your API key. Copy that key, save it for now. And yeah, that's exactly everything you have to do in the Google console. So now there are just some simple steps to add our, with our keys, go back to your project command line and say ionic push minus minus google api key and copy your api key all right google api key saved also ionic config set gcm key and select your gcm key and it's done. One more thing, ionic config set dev push to false because we don't want to send out dev push notifications anymore by now. All right, so let's go back to our code. Again, there's not much we have to do. I had some problems sending out those notifications. This might be a bit tricky, so just try around. But in general, I had to create this new Ionic IO. So this is just a line. I'm not sure this should be included in Ionic push already, but maybe it's not in the master or whatever, not merged yet in the version I have used of the, yeah, what's it called? The Ionic platform web client. But anyways, this line won't hurt. So we leave our new push notification, but we don't need this debug flag anymore, but we want to catch the on notification event inside our app because I missed this event and I thought it was not working, but actually our app received it. So let's just listen to the on notification event. And if we receive a notification, we just say received notification. So inside this notification, there's a payload, there's the message, there's the title. You can grab all those things, but obviously most of the time you don't want to just display an alert message when you receive a push notification. So inside this block, just handle whatever you want to do with the push notification. And also inside this object, we can pass a plugin config. This is because we installed the Cordova plugin and you can check my blog article and see or find the link to this yeah, Cordova push plugin on GitHub. There are all those settings you can configure for now. I will just pass an Android config and say the icon color should be, yeah, whatever just blue for now, just to see this config is working. 
All right, so this is our push notification object and we don't need this line. But now we need to send out our notifications to real device tokens and for this I had to use the Ionic user service which is a service also of Ionic IO so you can identify your users and if our current user has no idea by now we should create an anonymous ID I'm not completely sure if we need this user stuff but this helps us to see that when you go to users you will see the device token in this section so it's a bit easier all right so our user gets an anonymous ID hopefully in your typos and just for your information you can set some specific parameters or whatever you want like name of the user and you can also specify whatever field you would like to so yeah this is my little bar and also keep in mind every time you change something on the user object you should call user save afterwards all right so finally we define our callback which will be used when we call push register just like before but before we yeah we just locked our device token now we will use this callback function that's just the same stuff and at this point we say push add token to user which is our user and also call user.save so we will find the token inside the ionic io uh, dashboard all right that's not very much code and this is already everything you have to do for receiving push notifications on your android device or app so let's give it a try by now you should see this ionic push and targeted push inside your ionic io dashboard because you added your gcm and api keys so i deployed the app to my android device and called run and once the app is open you can go to the users section and you should see an object created right here with our biography our name whatever value you want to add and most important our android device token so we need to copy this token go to the push section and you can if you want send out a targeted push with some message and those were a bit delayed for me so i used the one-time notification and again paste this inside here and add a title and a notification message and this is what this notification looks like on a device I actually found no other way than recording the screen but as you can see the notification comes up and also the icon is blue just like we specified and we have this alert message inside our app so this is exactly what the push notification should look like on your device alright so on my blog according article to this video you can also find how to call this push notification so just sending a push or a, a post message to the ionic io servers with your payload and this also works very good so if you have any questions or problem just leave me a comment especially a comment on my blog would be appreciated I hope you like this video, follow my YouTube channel and thanks for listening, have a nice day.